what's up guys and welcome back to our Canucks GM mode. So we are on to the Western Conference Finals for back-to-back -back seasons. We defeated the Oilers in four games and now we are only four are four wins away from going back to that Stanley Cup Finals for back-to-back -back seasons. Um, so yeah, let's dive right into it. Hopefully we could beat St. Louis. They'd still have some studs on their top six, like uh, Crosby's even there, but he's dropped down to an 86. He's playing alongside of Tarasenko and Schwartz. Some other good players as well in St. Louis. Um, their goaltending is not really that good, and their defense is kind of dropping because of their age. So overall-wise, I think we should be able to beat this team. Let's see how it goes in game number one. First period, and we have a 2 nothing lead after one. Kevin Fiala beats Fitzpatrick and then Kirby Reichel. Two goals on 16 shots for us. Let's have a good second as well. And we don't. We let in two goals. Vladimir Tarasenko makes it 2-1. And then Robbie Fabry ties the game up at 2. Shots are pretty close. 23-20 in favor of us. Let's see if we could get it done here in the third. I had a feeling once we went up 2-0 that St. Louis was going to storm back with two of their own. Power play goal from Nazarov, and we have a 3-2 lead. Huge goal from the youngster. Will he get another game-winning goal? He's even he's the complete reason why we're even uh, the, as far as we are, because he eliminated the Ducks for us in the seventh game. So, and we're gonna take game one, three to two. So Nazarov with another game-winning goal here in the playoffs. This youngster seems to like to come through in the clutch. That and Reichel from Shifley and Theodore and Nazarov from Fiala and Patrick. So Fiala had a good game. And same with Thatcher Demko and obviously Nazarov. So those are the three stars. So let's waste no time and get into game number two. We still have home ice in the series, which is good. And then, yeah, basically, um, same with can still win the series potentially. But um, if we could steal a game in St. Louis after, if we win this game, then we should be able to lock the series up. So Tarasenko makes it one nothing St. Louis early on, but then like a minute and a half later, or 15 seconds later, Henrik Samuelsson ties the game up at one apiece. And then Mark Scheifele giving us the lead with 8.28 left in the first. Shots are 11 to seven, second period, and we have a 3-1 lead going into the third period. Shea Theodore, He's actually coming through in the playoffs more than he did during the regular season. So, big goal from Shea. Can we lock it down here in the third? We are out shooting him by almost double, too. So, we have the offense on our side, and Demko's been just playing great so far to start the series. Power play for St. Louis. Kill off, boys, and we do. Last two minutes of the game, and St. Louis gets one. Ugh. And, oh, thank God, Zaka getting that empty netter. Tarasenko gives us a scare with a minute 58 left, but then Pavel Zaka just gets an empty netter and seals the deal. So we're going to take this game 4-2 to two and take a 2 nothing series lead headed back to St. Louis. So Samuelson from Patrick and Lilsergren, Shifley from Albaline and Reichel, Theodore from Patrick and Zaka, and Zaka from Stetcher and Patrick. So Patrick has put up a lot of points or actually in this series already. That's his fourth assist. He's got three assists for first star. Zaka with two points gets second. And Samuelson gets third star with a goal and five hits. So he's playing physical for us. That's what we need. That's why we brought him in too, I think, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we're not going to change anything going into St. Louis because we've been playing great for the first two games. Let's hope it continues here in St. Louis. So first period and we have a 2-1 lead once again so they get the lead um anderson dolan makes it one nothing with 633 left and then albling ties the game up with 406 left and nolan patrick who's just been playing great this series gives us a 2-1 lead we're being out shot 14 to 6 but we have two goals on those six shots so we're still getting goals and we need that to happen still in the second period so Second period, and we have a 3-2 lead, so Zaka makes it 3-1 early, but then Anderson Dolan with his second of the night, pulling St. Louis back with him one going into the third. We're still being outshot 25-18. Come on, boys, we need to get an insurance marker here in the third. Pelling kill, and we killed it off. <clears throat> Pelling kill again, we kill it off again. Power play for us, we don't score. Power play again for us, and we do score. There you go. 
Troy Stetcher makes it 4-2. to two. Are we actually going to take a 3 nothing stranglehold on St. Louis and maybe sweep our second series? Yeah, we are. Wow. So we are up 3 nothing now on St. Louis. And we are one game away from going back to that Stanley Cup Finals. So Mikhail Albeline from Shifley and Reichel. Nolan Patrick from Pavel Zaka and Hendrik Samuelsson. Zaka from Lilsgren and Albeline. And Stetcher from Horvat and Tippett. So while we are one game away from the Stanley Cup Finals. So Anderson Dolan gets first star. Zaka second star. And Demko the third star. So... We've been just playing great out the first three games of the series. We've only allowed two goals in each of those games, and we've scored four or three goals. So we're getting it done. Let's see if we can get it done here, and then hopefully go into the Seneca Finals because our team's going to need some rest. Or is going to have a large gap probably between this and the Seneca Finals if they are going to the Finals. Because, yeah, currently Florida's up 2-1 on Carolina. So that's what the East looks like. Let's go back to simulating and see if we could win our eighth game in a row and head to that Stanley Cup Finals. First period, and we are up 2 nothing. Yes, boys. We're finding ways to beat Evan Fitzpatrick, Owen Tippett, and Mikhail Albeline. Second period, and we have a 3-2 to two lead now as Owen Tippett made it 3 nothing. But Tintarasenko, with two goals in the last five minutes of the second period, pulls St. Louis within one. So... Come on, guys. We need to lock it down. We can't just blow a 3 nothing lead. There you go. Bo Horvat makes it 4-2. That might be the nail in the coffin because that's how we've won the last few games is winning it by a score of 4-2 to two or 3-2. to two. So is that going to be it? Are we going to head on to the Stanley Cup Finals for back-to-back -back seasons? Yes, we are. Bo Horvat makes it 5-2. And while wow, your Vancouver Canucks have swept two series in a row, and are going back to that Stanley Cup Finals on a nine game win or eight game winning streak. So Bo Horvath gets first star with two goals, one assist. Tippett gets second star with two goals, and Tarasenko gets third star with two goals. So Tarasenko had a good series despite us um, sweeping them. So back to back sweeps. And now let's see who we're up against in the Stanley Cup Finals, and then we'll check player stats. But I'm nervous, kind of, since we won eight in a row, we are bound to lose a game uh, going into the Stanley Cup Finals. And we're against the Carolina Hurricanes this year in the Stanley Cup Finals. So they're 12-6 and six in the playoffs. That's interesting. Uh, let's just quickly check the player stats before we check what Carolina's roster looks like. Because I have not checked what their roster looks like at all, I don't think, in the last um, couple seasons. So, first on... Uh, we got Nolan Patrick's leading us with 14 points, Sacco 14 points, Fiala 13, Lilsgren 12, Samuelson 10, Albuin 10, Horvat 10, Theodore 8, and everybody else below that. Okay, goaltending wise, let's see how Demko's played. Wow, 12 and 2 with a 177 and a 937, so. Very good performance from Thatcher Demko. So let's take a look at the Carolina Hurricanes roster. We actually might check their player stats as well for the playoffs. And yeah, so their record in the regular season was 43, 26, and 13. So nothing too scary, to be honest. They probably finished last in the wildcard spot. But on paper, we have better offense, 93 to 91. We have better goal our defense 90 to 89 so i guess they must have traded a lot of their good defensemen because usually they're a really good defensive team and our goaltending is the same so it's interesting but since our offense is better hopefully we are able to win our second straight stanley cup we have home lights so that's good so view opponents so first line you got jeff skinner alexi sorella and rudolph burkoff what a name um, so 85, 87, and 87, so that's a pretty solid first line, it's nothing huge. Uh, second line, you got Elias Lindholm, 86, Victor Ask, 86, and Maxim Comtois, 87. So once again, it's a pretty solid top six. Third line, you got Osab Safin, 83, Joe Valeno, who hasn't been growing for them apparently, 77, and Sebastian Aho, 82. And then fourth line, you got Jamie McGinn, 82, Jordan Stahl, who's still there, probably in his last season, 81. 
Austin Pratt, 81. Defensively, Noah Hannafin, 87. Petrie Pedersen, 85. Jared Spurgeon, 85. And he's just coming back from an injury. So we might be able to re-injure him. Ty Prefontaine, 85. Uh, Marty Wallace, 84, and Brett Pessy, 81. Goaltending was Alexander Datsuk, medium elite goaltender, interesting, 87 overall, and Matt Murray. So, yeah, their goaltending is pretty solid. Matt Murray would have been better in his prime, but he's starting to drop off, it looks like. And in scratch, they have Ty Ratty, 83, and Colin Smith, 81. So, a solid all around team. Nothing too scary though. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that's that. Let's just quickly check the player stats for Carolina during the playoffs, so we can see who's been hot for them and expect what to expect going into the Stanley Cup Finals. And then that'll be it for this episode. So player stats, and let's go to Carolina's player stats for the playoffs so far. Who's been doing what on their team? Um, let's see, Carolina, so, best offensive player that we have to watch out for is Victor Rask, also, wow, Ty Ratty, even though he was scratched, he put, put up 18 points in 18 games, so I guess somebody must have just came back from injury, maybe he was playing defense where, um, Jared Spurgeon was, or something like that, um, Com 12, 14, okay, their best defenseman seems to be Prefontaine, he was an undrafted guy too, hmm. How's their goalie he's been playing? Is their goalie's been good? Sadatsuk, wow, 2.18, 12 and 5, and one shutout. And then Matt Murray's played one game, 1 2 5, and 9.47. So, yeah, their goalies are pretty good. And then, yeah, their offense seems to be better than their defense for points. Yeah. Okay, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of our. Canucks GM mode so next episode we will go back to that Stanley Cup Finals and take on the Carolina Hurricanes so thank you guys for watching see you guys next time